Prettier is one of the most important tools of the last 10 years of software development, especially for those of us in the JavaScript ecosystem. I cannot tell you how much time I have lost to bickering with my team over formatting decisions and best practices for how we should structure our code. And so many of those conversations immediately went away when we started using Prettier, similar to what Go has with Go Format and Elixir as well. I think a good core formatter that makes these types of decisions for us so we can focus on writing our code is essential, both in our day-to-day -day writing code when you save and have things format themselves. I really don't press the enter key a whole lot anymore. But also when we're doing code review and maintaining code at scale with large teams, having Prettier or something like it to enforce a specific format for your code makes it way easier to review code because everything tends to look much more similar and not having to map your brain to different formattings, not having to bicker about these things as a team, not even having to format your code yourself when you're writing it, you just save and it formats. These are massive, massive wins. And I want to make sure we call those out for what they are because they've changed how we write code. That doesn't mean Prettier is good enough. And I'm not even the one saying it because Vukes, the creator of Prettier, is now putting up bounties for people to make Prettier better. In particular, he just put up a bounty for $10,000 if anybody rewrites Prettier in Rust with 95% tests passing in the JavaScript tests, which means it takes code that is formatted incorrectly and then puts out the correct formatted code, which obviously they've written a ton of tests to make sure this is the case. It's a pretty big bounty, and I hope somebody collects it because you can make something really fast here. That said, Guillermo personally matched it. So there's over $20,000 in this bounty right now if anybody's able to make a prettier equivalent in Rust that's that fast. But this is also 100% prettier compat. There are other solutions, and we'll talk about all of those in a minute. But I want to talk about prettier first and foremost. It's all these people making these additional contributions, which is great. Somebody asked why not other languages, and he said that the ability to work on it and maintain it over time, how easy it is to install on other platforms, how likely other parsers are going to be implemented, these types of things. That's why he picked Rust, but he's down for people to do other things as well. Biome gets mentioned here, as does dprint, but none of these solutions are prettier. None of them do everything prettier does, but all of them are slightly faster. What I did see that was really exciting. I don't think it was replied here. What I saw here was Fabio proving that you can actually do this pretty quickly. Three days later, people have spoken, very early results. But in this very specific scenario, the experimental rewrite I'm working on is two times faster than prettier if there's no cache, 10 times faster if there is a cache, and four times faster than dprint if there's a cache. Sounds pretty promising, right? Important detail, this isn't in Rust. This is a JS-only CLI wrapper on top of Prettier to keep 100% backwards compatibility. No native APIs, no Rust, no Wasm, no parallelization, no bundling, no minification, no snapshots. So there's almost something to do, should go at the speed of light, yada yada. When there's a cache and you already know the state of all the files, you should be able to go immediate. And it's a great meme. We need this to run faster. Rewrite it in Rust, rewrite it in Zig. Use basic caching and work skipping. Yeah, it's dope to see this type of focus. Because again, the ask was, why not just rewrite it in Rust? Here's a bounty for it. And here's Fabio making something comically faster without touching native languages at all, without even changing the original code, just writing a CLI on top of it so that it's only called when it needs to be called. It's important to understand Prettier is not the only option for code formatting. There's also Biome.js and dprint. dprint is a little older and a little further along, so I'll focus on this part first. dprint is a Rust-based configurable code formatter. Similar to Prettier, works basically the same, has different defaults and a couple more expectations around what it can and can't do, but it's really, really fast. A Node API for the dprint TypeScript and JavaScript code formatter, cool. And we see here, Prettier gets 450 operations per second and dprint gets 12,173. That's a pretty absurd difference. And dprint is cool. It's just way more minimal and doesn't have a lot of the plugins and functionality that we expect as JavaScript developers. Even just the, like the VS Code plugin type stuff isn't where things are at with Prettier, but it is a real option. It's cool to see it getting more support, but it seems more and more like people are putting their money on Biome. If you're not familiar with Biome, you might be familiar with their logo because Biome is a fork of Rome. A lot of the original Babel team wanted to improve the state of tooling in the JavaScript ecosystem, and they chose to, from scratch, re write a lot of our core tooling. That included linters, that included compilers, but importantly here, that included formatters. And Rome was building all of this from scratch in Rust. It seemed like a good idea at the time. They ran out of money, the project failed, but a couple of the maintainers weren't ready to give up. And one in particular broke off and made Biome, an open source fork of the previous Rome project that is going way harder to try and solve these same problems. 
Their first example is format. Their second example is lint. And I don't think they're as focused on the compilation stuff at the moment because these problems need to be solved so badly. And with stuff like ES build, competing there is painful, also with bun around. And it seems like they have made the conscious choice to focus on these pain points that aren't getting addressed, being linting and formatting. And the core contributors of Biome accepted this challenge because they want to make something incredibly fast. And you even see both Vukes and Guillermo in the replies here offering their support because we all want Biome to succeed. It would be absolutely dope if they could get a Rust rewrite to the performance levels necessary to really, really change what we're using. Somebody linked a benchmark from Biome. Formatting. Biome is 25 times faster than Prettier, 20 times faster than Parallel Prettier, 20 times faster than xargs-p, which is... Don't even know what that is. Cool. Real smarter than me. Biome is 1.5 to 2 times faster than dprint. And it's single-threaded mode is 7 times faster. Yeah. Then their linting numbers are pretty nuts too. 15 times faster than ESLint, which is a very single threaded solution. So having that type of performance that makes sense when you're parallel. I am hyped to see this effort being put in. I really want these tools to be fast, especially on the linting side, which I feel like isn't getting enough love here. The ESLint team is exploring what it would look like to rewrite ESLint with native languages that perform a bit better. But for now, the focus is on the formatting side and these new solutions are all looking really good. So I'm hopeful for a future where our formatters and our linters aren't running JavaScript because we could do so much better for those types of tools. File parsing is not something that we should be doing in non-native languages if we don't have to. And as much as these tools have enabled us to build an incredible developer experience, we've also had to deal with the performance issues that come as you continue to build these into bigger and bigger things. And I'm so excited to see this type of effort, not just from the community, but from the creator of Prettier himself, Vukes, pushing for us to improve the state of these tools. It's always awesome to see maintainers recognize when their tools has been used a little too much and has gone a little too far and make these opportunities for the community to make something truly significantly better. Again, huge shout out both to the prettier maintainers as well as the people who are contributing to the bounty, but most importantly, to all those developers working hard to make better tools for the future of web development. I'm so excited for these types of problems to continue improving so our experience writing and maintaining code continues to be better next year than it was this one. Thank you guys again for watching this. If you want to hear more about prettier and linting and the difference between formatting and linting, I'll Pin a video in the corner because you're probably doing it wrong. If you've already seen that or you're not interested, YouTube thinks you like the one below it. Thank you guys as always. Appreciate y'all a ton. Peace, nerds.